So today we're going at the nature trail or the Lua. Lua Nature yeah. Trail. Yeah. Does it say anything about bringing, being able to bring dogs? Or? Uh, it's a wildlife and safari park in Nairobi. Yeah, it looks like uh, you can have picnics, you can camp, and there's a waterfall. So first of all, mm -hmm. you need to always check everything oil my fan is good mm -hmm. check the oil we are low mm -hmm. so what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna pop this pot put it on the side then top up the one that I have. that's where you put it up your oil because with this engine oils um it's an old vehicle so what you do is that you use the heavy oil with the heavy viscosity top of your oil and then from there once your oil is in close your lid and then put back the the top like that then you check your water and as you can see my water is running back to the disposal section and then once you check your oil because I have um, I'm checking the, the water the radiator so because my radiator is cool and um, now it's cold you can just open the lid um, but don't open this when the car is still hot. Mm -hmm. The evaporation and everything happening under it mm -hmm. might burn your face or your fingers. Ouch. So I'm going to take this off. Grab my reserve here. Just pour it down. And as you can see, my coolant is still fresh, good, and ready to go. Then when I put this back down, all the remain, the full part of it just fall back to the stuff. The reason why I like the one line engine mm -hmm. is because it's simple. Mm -hmm. You can work it out yourself. But if it's too difficult for you, you can ask somebody else to do it for you. So there's no harm in asking, yeah? It's greasy. <laughs> so have something right there for your for yourself to clean yourself. Wipe. As here in Kenya we call it waste. Waste. Yeah. Okay. Always carry your waste. So, which is your old clothes. Mm, or old towel. T shirts. And now we're good to go. Mm. Just start in the engine and then start the journey. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know this, but being bombarded with advertisements all day long across various media platforms can have several negative effects on our brains. Um, one of them would be like mental fatigue and overstimulation. Because we're constantly exposed to these ads, it leads to cognitive overload and the brain is forced to process an immense amount of information, much of which is irrelevant leading to mental fatigue and decreasing ability to focus on more important tasks. The impact of constant exposure to advertisements can vary depending on the economic status of the area you are in. For example, in wealthier areas, ads may promote luxury goods and high-end services, reinforcing consumerism and materialism among residents. In contrast, in economically disadvantaged areas, advertisements may target basic needs or exploiting vulnerabilities more aggressive marketing strategies employed in lower income areas to push products that may not be in the best interest of the consumer. That's just something to think about. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs>
Where are we? Mama and Dada. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but it wasn't this one they were using. No, we didn't grill anything. Uh,
if there's one who smokes, it's not good to smoke here inside the park. expecting to come to walk today but that's nice which way are we going to the nature trail or... why take the stairs when we can take the side <laughs> this one came <laughs> But I think next time I wanna bring Morozo in here. Mm -hmm. You can do that? Yeah, I think we can. <laughs> My name is Bungai. Bungai Wilder. Yeah, if you're new to this channel. And okay. This <laughs> Just how the tree decided to grow. Mm -hmm. So you are out there, you've never been in Africa. Check it out. You got corners and every corner. See? That one just decided yeah, to grow. Yeah, it's just again. in the middle here now. It just was like, me too. <laughs> but do you know that this one and this one, they're. Same? Yeah. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah, it makes sense. Look. This looks like the younger version and of that one. This one, one was like. Oh, yeah, these are two trees fighting for space, then, yeah? For existence. <laughs> My lives matter. This is Karen. This place is used to be the white people's heaven. <laughs> they place it down on the ground. Yeah. This is a place where. You mm -hmm. They gave it to us as a gift. <laughs> <laughs> you come. Fart on you. <laughs> that guy literally farted on us. And now you see, we were just being checked on the checkpoint. And now Kenyans have littered. How do you know it's Kenyans? They're not foreigners. This is Kenyans. <laughs> Know my people. Yeah. So now we have a tree house here. Wow. This has existed here for so many years. Wow, what is it for? It is like a town. It's not uh, functioning. Yeah. It cannot enter. Oh. Oh. So tree, is that a tree or vines? Where? Right in front of us. There's a vine. Oh, Thousand. these are vines? Mm -hmm. What? It's so crazy. It's what so is? thick. Look. Whoa. So like tell them. So this is how used, people used to climb. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. use this yeah, yeah. as the grips. Mm. So if you wanna climb, you go up. Like that. You know like in the cartoon, like Tarzan is swinging on yes. vines and people were like, How can you swing on vines if it's gonna break like that? But like if that's what a vine looks like, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, 
I mean... So where are we taking us? I can hear the waterfall. Mm -hmm. So where? It's starting to get a little humidy. Is so that side? Yeah. Yeah, because now you can also see like butterflies and butterflies kind of like that humid feeling. Or so they told me at Six Flags, Discovery Kingdom. Mm. Look at that. Look at this trail. It's a very narrow trail. So this goes all the way down. Okay. So you got the waterfall and there's a bamboo cliff and cave. So we we'll go this way. Here. It's like on the wall. Look at me, I'm trying to find you here. <laughs> Got you again. It is hot. Now it's hot and humid. Why didn't you just do this one? This one seems simple. Well, I guess because you'd have to slide. I made it to this point. <laughs> so for me, I wore the appropriate shoes for this place. They, they have good grip. Now you're learning. This is what you got. You're the thousand of this <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! No. No? Fall on the mostly don't go down. Go back up. <laughs> Hold my bag. Go. <laughs> that was a hell of a, a job, but we made it. People collecting water. Yeah. And you see them the fresh and clean. That the water from the pipe is like.
Wow, it's so crazy how quiet it gets for like even just right here. Those things are colonial. Pressure tanks. That's so crazy. <laughs> so use this. There. 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 Coming down. Because if you use this, you're gonna fall. Mm -hmm. I'm sweating. <laughs> Okay, first challenge. Yay! <laughs> that was so hard. Okay. Now we go down and see what they have down there. Okay. okay. Watch out for this thing, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Get. Do you want water? <laughs> Look at the water runs down this way. That's why the grass are like that. Nature. Nature. <laughs> it's really pretty. And there's a kid down there. Down there. Whoa. <laughs> How deep do you think it is? Hmm? How deep is it? It's deep. We don't need the people down there. Hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> it looks like it. You want me to light the light for you? <sighs> it smells like a cave would smell like like mold and water and, some and gases. dirt maybe some gases yeah because everything is trapped here I can, smell the gases. I can definitely smell gases now that she said that i first smelled all the mold and the water smell Oof. okay i'm done <laughs> that was fun this is beautiful are we going to climb up yeah. He says he doesn't want to go in the cave. I don't. You smelled it? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I want to stay in that smell? But it's pretty cool. You know, I don't think I've ever been on the outside of a cave like that before. I don't think so. Which one's the shorter one? I would mm -hmm. bet it is. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my God, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so steep. <sighs> I wore a long sleeve and a sweater. Does it down? <sighs> yeah. Somebody asked us in the comments like to do a Q&A, but um, if you do want us to do a Q&A, let us know what questions, what you want us to answer, either in the comments below or let us know on Instagram, um, TikTok, just let us know. For those questions about the car, we are going to be able to make a video and take you on a short tour and show you everything about the engine, the suspension. Let's also show your garage, yeah? Yeah. We're out here restoring vehicles now. A thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel if you uh, support what we do Papyrus swamp. Did we see that? The eagle hide, bamboo. We saw the cave and the sign to the bamboo and everything, I guess. I guess we didn't see everything, so. We're back where we started. The mushrooms. Wow, wild. What did you think about this trail? It was nice. We definitely come back again. Yeah, so many things we didn't know to see. Like, what? Yeah. So we saw the cave and we saw the waterfall. I don't think I saw any bamboo. I did. Oh, did you? Some people are picking it for walking. Oh, that's nice. I didn't, but I didn't pay attention. But it's more out farther there yeah. from where we were sitting. Oh. Now we have to hike all the way up to our vehicle. Just like back then, when we got this car, 
wasn't able to move and uh, and perform. The performance was low, but then um, after the buying part. Wow! Thank you. Wow! And the light it looks so delicious. <laughs> What are you eating? Mm, coconut beans. This is a party. It's a lot of food. Where are you going? <laughs> Big this bag is. <laughs> the to go bag. Tea. <laughs> In front of you. Just to the delicious. Yeah, good.